five things you need to do before the 0.13 update. The bugs strike back. A lot of people have been asking when the bug strike back update is coming to live servers. The 0.13 update is a public test server and usually goes live after two weeks of BTS. This means it will possibly be available on May 11. This also means you got almost 10 days to get ready for the update. And with this video, you will be more than ready. You will be beefy ready. I've been playing the PTS for the last four days, and this is what you will need. Number one, bind your peeper mode key. If you play on console, it should be already done. If you play on PC, be sure you have assigned it to a comfy key. With the new creature card feature, you will be using it a lot. Number 2. Farm materials for armor upgrades. Armor upgrades are coming, and with it a bunch of new materials to grind. I will do a video explaining how armor upgrades work. But for now, let's focus on the materials. To upgrade one full armor set of 3 pieces from level 0 to level 9, you will need 111 grub hide, 36 berry leather, 18 pupa leather, 90 acid gland, 45 bug gloop 366 sap 276 crude rope I'm missing one of them here but the point is you can fill up a chest with the materials you need to upgrade an armor set so start the grind First of all, I advise you to use the resource surveyor for every material on the list. For example, by searching grub hide, you will find out that these are the best places to farm grubs. Berry ladders are easy, just don't forget to hang them on jerky racks for the 1 to 1 ratio. To farm pupa, use the resource surveyor, but also remember that there is some pupa hanging from the shed board and it doesn't show in the resource surveyor. Pro tip, pupa can also be hanged on jerky racks for the 1 to 1 ratio. For acid gland, kill annoying larvas, and for bug gloop, go for the big insects in the upper yard. They always drop some of it. Here's the black ox beetle creature card to help you be effective against it. While you're doing all these things, 
enslave your sap collectors and spinning wheels to produce sap and crude rock. And why is it a good thing to farm all of that before the update? Insects are now smarter and harder to kill. That said, number three, review your base and structures you built. The faction reactivity and wafter are two of the three new game modes, and at the moment they are very unpredictable. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the video that's being suggested on the top right corner of the screen. There's a fight starting here! Basically, what's happening is that when you trigger a bug species for payback, it will attack any of your structures in the backyard. Things may change before the update come live, but I recommend you protect your base with walls and organize and consolidate your material chests in one location to make it easier to protect. Number 4. Stock up mushroom bricks. Mushroom walls are the strongest walls in the game and the easiest material to transport. You will need them to protect your base and to beat the 5 mixers challenge. Having stacks of the mushroom bricks will save you a lot of time in this next update. Number 5. Book this video playlist. As I said in my first video about the Bugs Strike Back update, the first screen you are going to see when loading your game is this one. A full reset of all quests and burgle chips progress. This was done because the game story has changed. I made a video playlist that has a guide for every quest and burgle chip in the game. If while playing the new update you don't remember how to complete the quest or find a burgle chip, the answer will be one click away from you. Find the link for this playlist on the description of this video bookmark it or save it and that's it guys have fun while preparing for the new update and keep tuned into the channel as new videos about the bugs strike back are coming don't forget to subscribe to the channel for those that are already subscribed thank you for your support if you have any questions about the 0.13 update or anything else on Grounded, leave a comment below and I will help you. It's okay, I'll let you spy on me.